Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. So today's video, I'm gonna share us going to the pumpkin patch. We went about a week ago and I haven't had time to edit that video and get it out for you guys. So I'm gonna put that in today's video and then also I have a little haul that I wanna share with you that I got from Goodwill and Walmart. And that stuff I really wasn't even going to share because when I went to Goodwill, I didn't really know if I was going to pick up anything. But I have a little backstory on some of the stuff that I got um, to tie in with why I got it. And then um, for the haul, I did a video a while back for something that I updated in my bathroom. So I'm hoping that my husband put some shelves in our bathroom. <laughs> and he's right here laughing because I want him to put shelves in the bathroom right now. So I got this white bucket or a white container to put on my shelf in the bathroom for all my makeup until I was able to go through all of it. So what I did is just, I bought the container, put all my makeup in there, still didn't go through that. I did put liner on one of the shelves in there because I was stating that when we put the shelves in there and I did a stain on it, I didn't do a finish. So when it gets dusty and stuff in there, it just kind of sticks to it. So I put this liner on there and I never did the rest of the shelves. So he just needs to put, I think, three more shelves in there and then I need to get stain, which I forgot to get, forgot to get that today. Um, but I'm gonna line it with that. And then I have some other shelves um, on the other side of our shower that I'm thinking to put these this liner on it. Um, I did go to Goodwill because I was hoping to find some wooden baskets that I could have put the towels and washcloths in. But I'm just going to use these containers. They are the same container as the container I used for my makeup but these have like a little divot in the front. So I will share that with you. And then I got some odds and end things, but I'm gonna put the clip in right now of us being at the pumpkin patch. And then I'm gonna come back and share everything that I got on this little haul. Can we do a, a pumpkin a maze? Pumpkin? A pumpkin maze. Pumpkin maze. Don't touch the pumpkin maze. Well, Hudson can't do this because his legs are so Yeah. Come here, they have a little thing over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was a thing. Do you see a Hey, giant grasshopper. What? Grasshopper. Amazing place to live. Hey, John. This is cool. I like the waterfall. Can I feel it? What are those? Thank you. 
Yeah. Just line them up. Oh. Yeah. Really? Strike! Mom, I'm running up there! Oh, God. Yeah, Can you get up, Evelyn? Too tall for you. Eli, you want a booster? Oh, shoes. <laughs> hmm. If you want, you might get a pokey. Take a picture Yeah, in a minute. There's one gate that's big. They have a chicken coop. Look, Mama. Look at that. Are you able to go in there? Yeah? Does it... Does it... Can you get out? It's kind of tiny, but look. It's kind of deep. I don't know if that's safe. You might get stuck in there. Yeah. Like, that beat. Yay. Oh, they're on the side. Let's go to the side. Look how big them yellow ones are. I was just wondering what they were eating. Oh, and all them are minis. Mini horses. Don't bite my hand, okay? Is it allowed to stick my hands in? They're so cute. So soft. Must wash hands after touching animals. Can you see? So he was like, he was going like this with his mouth, and then he bit me. Oh. Hey. Not yet, we gotta go play for it. Dickie! This is Miles' new podcast. Should we get this? Yes. Hey, what's the thing? Right. I'm kidding with you. Yeah. Wait, I wanna pinch. Oh, name was Colin.
Oh, that's cool, Ben. For the goats. Oh, these are cute. Hot pads. Oh, so cute. All right, so that was our little trip to the pumpkin patch. I'm gonna move on now to everything that I got at Goodwill and at Walmart. I'm do Walmart first. So I got more of this stick down liner for them shelving areas. And then I got two of these. The other one is very similar to this. It just doesn't have that little divot in here. So one of these will be for washcloths and the other one will be for towels. When I do that video, I will share that all with you. Um, I did get some other things that I'm waiting for on Walmart. They're gonna get delivered in the next couple days. One of the things that I got is a flower like container that has like wicks in it, uh, cloth wicks, and you put essential oils in it. You don't plug it in, you don't do anything. You just put your essential oils in, and then I'm gonna put it by the front door so when people come in, it doesn't smell like dog, if it does, because our dog stays in the kennel right there. And then I got a little diffuser, which I have millions of diffusers, but this one is black, and then the scent is almond and something, blossom or something I don't remember and that is going to go upstairs on the ledge so that it smells good upstairs and then in the kids bathroom upstairs I have this little air freshener which I'll share that with you if I have it where do I have that uh let's see I don't I think I don't know if I okay I don't have it I thought I had it it's probably in my van because i took one out but it's a little vent piece that goes in your car vent and it smells like vanilla and i'm going to put one of them up in the upstairs bathroom so i got that and then i think i got a parakeet package it's um millet i think it is for the parrots so that is also coming and i think that is it for the part that's going to be shipped all right, so I needed to get more shampoo, and usually for Evelyn, I use Monate shampoo and conditioner, or we'll get the Honest Company brand at Walmart. But I saw this on there. This is shampoo and conditioner, strawberry and kiwi. So we're going to give that a try. I am going to be using this upstairs in the boys' bathroom. We usually use the one that has a yellow wrapper on it, but I saw this on there, so we're going to give this a try for the upstairs bathroom. And for the dog, I got her a couple little treats. So I got two of these little munchy bones. I got her a pig ear. I got her some beef jerky little fit treats. Um, I got some trail mix for my parakeets. I got another package of this little bone or this little bacon treat stuff. And then I got her a little Lola, a little uh, squeaky toy. So that is everything that I got from Walmart. Now I'm going to share what I got at Goodwill. So the sticker discount color was yellow. So I got this for Hudson. He loves gnomes. And this was $1.99 and we got it for a dollar. And then I think this was the other thing. So $2.99 and I'm gonna tie that in with Christmas this year. Last time I went to Goodwill, I got this one. So we'll have maybe like cook uh, candy in this one. I'm not sure, maybe like we can use this at Christmas for stuffing or something. Um, I love having things on the stove for um, when you're cooking. So I found this there. This was $1.99. I got a scrubby. I'm going to give this a try for my uh, cast iron skillets. And then I thought this was cute. This is a scrubby, no place like home. That's what it looks like on the other side. This was $1.99. And the scrubby was $1.49. Um, this, I got this there. This was $1.99. I think this is going to be my coffee cup this year. 
and it's textured. The little snowflakes are textured. I thought that was cute. I found this there, and this was $1.99, and we will stick this probably by the front door at Christmas time. So a little backstory. Well, I'll come back to that. And then my sister's birthday is coming up, and I'm going to get her, give her these. They are steam vents. You put them on the side of your, like, kettle, and then it lets steam in. So I'm going to give that to her for her birthday. I thought that was really cute. All right, so for this, the last, what well, in the last, like, year, we went to Goodwill, and they have this one table where they sell toys like this for, what was it, 39 cents? Yeah. 39 cents? So some of the kids picked out stuff in the last year. They'll just go, and then we'll just grab some stuff. But the last, one of the times that we went, they had all these little Star Wars little the toys there so I picked up a bunch of them and every time that I go there I find more and more of these so little these little characters I was possibly gonna sell them on eBay so I'm not sure so today why well, got this one too so today when we went Hudson found this one so I'm gonna add that to that it's my little Star Wars collection Evelyn wants to share her little things that she got today. So she got this little guy. This so little this. squishy. Uh, what else? I feel something else what about your little princess doll? Oh, this little guy. Right? And then your little princess. Okay. And then this was in a package. So this she got for, I think it was like $1.99 or something like that. So that's cute. Oh, you want to show your stuff too? Lachlan wants to show. Yes. And then who is, where is this from? Um, Among, no. Um, onward. 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 Little guy. Little guy. Little guy. Woody. And that, no, that's oh, not Woody. Woody's. Forky. Forky. On this little cookie jar at Goodwill, it was $3.99. And where did you guys get these little, did we get this at grandma? Oh, grandma had them. Okay. So my mom had these salt and pepper shakers. We just had these on the table near our fall stuff. And I, when I saw this at Goodwill, I thought, oh, that'll match so cute with that for Christmas. So we will put our Christmas cookies in here and we'll keep this at the table for Christmas. I thought that would be should, fun. We should put all yeah. salt and pepper in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then put our cookies in there. Then it will smell like uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper cookies. Yeah. All right, so that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys today. So hopefully you guys had fun watching the kids go to the pumpkin patch. That is one of our favorite places to go when it comes to fall activities. They do have a giant maze, um, but it is, I think, like $10 a person to get in. So it would be over $100 for us to get in. And we weren't going to do that. So this year we didn't go through the maze. Um, we went apple picking this year. That was fun. And we just got done at a cabin that we stayed at for three days and two nights. That video will be out shortly. So hopefully you guys enjoy our little vacation that we had together. But today I wanted to share what I got and then our little adventure. We took off that day from school and we did our own little field trip and went and did that. So that was kind of fun and the weather was great that day um, for us to be able to do that and spend time together. So, all right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed my little haul today. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.